Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. Hey everybody, welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. Trial! We're still Trial. on Turnabout Trial. Corner. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. 15, <laughs> 15 minutes, minutes later. later. <laughs> a report arrives. The rifle marks on both bullets are identical. Well, it seems as though the bullet in the safe was fired from the murder weapon. Perhaps the defense would like to state their position? The bullet in that safe proves one fact. A pistol was fired in that office on that day. And at the time of the firing, the safe was open. The safe which contained the top secret chart. Do you think someone was threatening Dr. Maractus? In order to open the safe? Only one person was in a position to do such a thing. Our witness, Alita Tiala. Order, order, order! Mr. Justice, where are you going with this? Are you accusing the witness? Your Honor, is this really a surprise to you anymore? It always <laughs> happens! Alita Tiala knew about Waki Kataki's botched operation. She got engaged to him without telling him about it. As long as that bullet remained in his chest, his days were numbered. What if she married him and then the bullet finally reached its destination? Wh what? That reminds me. Apparently, the Katakis have been asserting themselves in lawful business practices. Hence why we're not prosecuting them today. They're making quite a great deal of money. A fortune, if you will. Nefarious! So she planned to marry him just to get her that hands on this fortune? I called it! <laughs> Gold digger! I called it! I was like, why are you getting engaged to this guy that you've known for, like, literally six months And he's, months like, tops. literally a fox and, and a weasel. A met, fox and, and a, a weasel, kid. and they have nothing in common. Like, she, she's not even, like, pretending to like him, too. She's just like, oh, oh yeah, he's my I fiance. Think he's cute. <laughs> oh, yeah, whatever. his psychopathic tendencies are just so high. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You're like, no, that's, that's not. <laughs> my parents are against it, but who cares? <laughs> I'm getting no, some parents money. are barely involved on her side. <laughs> Oye Tiala's parents are the real victims in this case. Oh yeah, where are they? <laughs> They're just out. Yeah, probably she objected to that. Oh, never mind. You keep talking trash about my Alita! And I'll sue you, lawyer man! Huh? Me? Yeah, you said... You said you'd... You'd... You'd abuse my Alita! I didn't say abuse! Um, I think you mean accuse. <laughs> Same difference! Well, you can't have her! She's mine! It was me! I shot that doctor! Me! He left me to die, so I left him to die too, there in that park! Um... Well, Rocky! Just cool down a second and you keep your hands off my Alita or I'll... <laughs> Miss Tiala? I'm sorry, I just... It's been so long since I've laughed so hard. Waki has a terrible sense of humor. She literally me... laughed maybe like seven ha-has. Ha, and ha, then was ha, like, ha, oh, ha. whatever. Waki makes racist jokes and I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> I don't know, he's like a street gang member or yeah. something. He Some of them weird. are racist. Not weird. all of them. <laughs> Not all street games are racist. <laughs> There's a gang Some are very diverse, actually. There's a gang that's coming to beat Artie up. <laughs> they don't know where I live! That's true. <laughs> but they're just, like, on the internet trolling. What? I think street games have better things to do than watch the my troll. YouTube videos. <laughs> they're like, we want Spy Fox 2! <laughs> <Two, two. laughs> they already have it at this point. <laughs> At this point, you don't. <laughs> At this point, recording, I have not recorded it. At this point, when the video goes up, it will have been uploaded like four years ago. <laughs> we watched Yuki Monks Entertainment. <laughs> Something funny? Waki, wake up and smell reality. Wait up, smell reality. I said wake. I you said I wait. I said wait up. <laughs> wait up. Hey, wake wait up, up and smell reality. Uh, Alita, baby. The signature on the chart, the engagement. I mean, come on. It's so obvious. Oh, her nose does kind of grow in size. Even for a brainless, spoiled brat such as yourself. Alita! At least she's admitting this and not just having, like, the whole... I was afraid the whole trial was just going to be like, No, oh, I'm... You said something about my... Which... <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing, like, the West Side Story opening? 
<laughs> no, no, I was doing, I almost had like a chicken head type of thing. You know how like, when you're like getting you're, up in someone's business, you're like, hey, man, would you? When you get up in you someone's wanna... business, you bang your head? Like, no, uh... no, like, you know how like chickens, they'll like, they'll like peck things and it's like the same thing that gangs. Gangs will gangs be like. Gangs peck their heads like no, chickens when they get like, up in people's business. Yo, man, what, what you doing? I don't huh? think they do the huh? head frosting. If I, you're I, in a street I, game and you haven't already turned <laughs> off the video yet because I insulted you, <laughs> please let me know in the comments if you bob do your tell. head like a chicken when you get up in someone's business. I, 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 I would love that. I will favorite that comment. I've, I've seen I've seen that in, like, theater. <laughs> Not in real life. I don't hang out with street gangs. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> your honesty is like a breath of foul air, Fräulein. Hey, I wasn't getting out of this clean anyway. So, the family fortune is what you're really after. That's right. I wanted the money. No way! That's whack! I ain't trying to hear that! Should have done the wedding earlier. Oh well. By the way, can I ask you a question? Who? Me? I believe you said you were going to abuse me. Accuse? Of what crime, might I add? Huh? Oh, I'm a bad girl, sure. I got close to the brat because I wanted his money. Okay, anytime a girl says, I'm a bad girl, you it's instantly like, you wanna well... You want to be a bad girl. <laughs> uh, sorry, keep going. <laughs> I, ju I just gave Marty the look of most, the uh, utter, uh, utter most disgust. Re revulsion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he was the one with the pistol. He could have fired it into the safe after I'd already left the clinic. What? I would have never done such a thing like that. He was definitely that silly brat. Wait, but... What are you talking about? T Trucy? You had the most to lose if the chart was found! But I didn't have a pistol now, did I? W well, you could have taken walkies. You think he'd have mentioned that, no? All I've heard him say is, it was me, I shot him. Objection! That's only because he's trying to protect you! Sorry to intrude in this lovely conversation, but the two of you are forgetting one critical point. What? What point? Certainly the Fräulein wanted that chart. You assume she threatened the doctor into opening that safe, but then... Wouldn't she have taken the chart? Oh. You see? That chart wouldn't have been left in that safe. Ah! He... he's right! Maybe there was something else in the safe. Like money. <laughs> I I don't. Think She's like so. I'm already gonna marry doctors, him, give the money, but I might as well doctors make a little... wouldn't keep money in the safe. They probably <laughs> would keep something else. I thought you safe. said you were doing this for the kids. Well, sure, but honestly, why can't we go to acquire cash on them? Miss Tiala. Yes. It is clear to this court that you are not a very good fiance. Oh, I'm flattered. Perhaps it's time you told us the truth. Tell us about yourself, including your actions and whereabouts on that day. Don't forget, we've proven that you were at the Maractus Clinic on the day of the crime. She, dang it. I was gonna have two I'm gonna testimonies. Lie. <laughs> the Maractus Clinic, too. Yes, I went to the clinic that day to speak with the doctor. I wanted that chart, but I failed to get it, so I went back to the clinic later. In any case, I didn't shoot him. You don't even have proof I stole that pistol, do you? That's probably where she's gonna have, like, swirled her ring. Was that one. <laughs> she's like, guess what? I'm getting married, people! Like, <laughs> <show Not>! me. <laughs> <laughs> And that brat was spotted in the park at the moment of the crime. Oh, you know would be great? Is if, like, at one point there's a witness, so they're like, you're perceiving them. There's tell, it's like they cross their fingers at one point when they say <laughs> <laughs> It's like, super obvious. Yeah. <laughs> Frankly, I don't think it matters if Dr. Maractus was shot in the temple or not. Well, science does, so sucks science to be you. Says. <laughs> you went back later? The chart was dangerous, you understand. I needed to get rid of it, that's why I went that day. But you couldn't get the chart then, could you? And later that night, Dr. Maractus was shot. I heard about the shooting, waited a day, but then I had to go back. No easy feat with the cops all over the place. Ah, the, that was you? Uh, uh, Apollo, that sound, it came from behind the door. Someone's in there. A break-in, they left for that window. So you were the burglar. That was the two of you? If only I had one more minute. 
Then I could have opened that safe and gotten the chart. What? That's trespassing and brazen at that. Oh, is this a trial for trespassing now? Besides, you can't blame a girl for wanting to protect herself. Yeah, we can. They're the gangsters, you know. In any case, Mr. Justice, your cross-examination. Admitting the little crime to avoid the big one, eh? Okay, I will say, at least she's not, like, being blatantly dishonest oh, like Wesley agreed. Stickler, where it's like, Oh, as you can see, my phone is rolls around <laughs> so much. I dropped it on the street. It rolled uphill yeah, through yeah, a closed no. garage door exactly. underneath a car tire. It's like, <laughs> that's well, that seems pretty reasonable to me. Yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> the right at least that, that works. Yeah, I went to the clinic that day. Why that day? That brat was uncontrollable. He was ready to kill. And that would bring in the police. And that chart would become evidence. And I'd be hung out to dry. But the police didn't check the safe, did they? Well, they thought the crime scene was the park. I'll make sure the responsible parties feel the heat. Such sloppiness won't be tolerated, yeah. I'm kind of thankful for that sloppiness myself, actually. Yeah, we, we are. I wanted the chart. But, but I failed to get, get it. Why do you suck so much at getting the chart? Later? <laughs> when I heard what happened, well, I was too scared to do anything that day. So I waited until the day after. The 16th, was it? Of course, you and that meddling kid had to get in my way. That's us, the Scooby-Doo mystery gang. <laughs> but why did Dr. Maractus keep that chart around? It was clearly dangerous for him. He could have burned it. Because he's a coward. The chart was his insurance. Insurance? My signature on that chart, to be more specific. That made sure I couldn't betray him. I would hate having her as my nurse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no she wonder would she, be, she would be the annoying nurse who would be like, here's... Shut up and get your shot. <laughs> no, no, she'd be the annoying nurse who's like, here's nine pages of things you have to sign explaining your symptoms. Then I'm going to ask you as if you didn't sign those <laughs> nine pages explaining your symptoms. And then and please I'm describe gonna... your sex life to us in detail so we in can detail. properly determine what medications you can and Do can't take. Do you smoke? I think you smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like I would smoke. You have a deep voice. I'm going to put down Smoke's eight packs a day. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor's like, you're really unhealthy. It's like the equivalent when I go to the dentist and they're like, you need to stop drinking so much coffee because your teeth are getting yellow. I'm like, I don't drink, drink coffee. coffee. You need to stop drinking tea. I'm like, I don't drink tea. It's like, you need to stop drinking soda. I'm like, I drink a, maybe one Sprite a month. Maybe. Maybe. And you don't drink that much soda. I really don't. I'm like, well, what, what are you drinking that's staying your teeth? I'm like, we have well water. We have to soften with, like, salt that turns us yellow. Yeah. I mean, some of it's just, like, with age comes aged teeth. <laughs> That's why I'm excited about Sensodyne toothpaste. Ever since I switched to Sensodyne to extra whitening toothpaste, my teeth have gotten whiter. Yeah, no. <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> but you could have stolen it. Who would sponsor me? I don't make any money off exactly. these videos. <laughs> exactly. Could have. Is this some new definition of proof? Actually, yes. We'll ask Walkie. He'll tell us. Objection. Might I remind you that this is a cross-examination? You might want to keep your baseless theories to yourself. Urgh. He's right, isn't he? Yep. And that brat was spotted in the park. Y yeah, but, um... <laughs> but what? You have nothing to say. This case is over. It was over the moment that that brat was seen in the park. What's the point in dragging it out any further? Frankly, I didn't think it mattered. I don't think it matters if science matches or not. The doctor was shot in the right temple, yes? So it seems. Let's review the facts again, shall we? <laughs> if the killer shot from this location, the bullet would have struck our victim square in the forehead. However, the entry wound was in the right temple. Which side of the cart did we find her footprints? The left side. Was it the side. side with the tree? Or the side the with... The side with where Eldoon was listed on the middle sand, <sighs> away from the I trash can. Find out. Yes, oh. we heard testimony on this yesterday. Okay. So, right there. That's where she was, yeah, okay. At the time of the shooting, the witness was standing here. Just before the gun was fired, he shouted. Cease this at once. <laughs> the victim turned his head and was shot. But that testimony was proven to be a lie. 
Our egregious panty snatcher, Mr. Stickler, did witness the crime. But he was standing to the north next to the trash can where he tossed those panties. If Mr. Stickler shouted from this location, the bullet couldn't hit his right temple. Silly, silly attorney. What? what Do you remember what you had for breakfast that morning? I don't eat breakfast. Do you remember, Trucy? I always have a glass of milk for breakfast. What matters is one thing. The doctor was shot in his right temple. If that's the case, then there can only be one explanation. The panties guy was mistaken. Objection! But his vocation was proven! You can't write that off as him being mistaken! Objection! Then why don't you show us, Air Forehead? Show you? What? Must I explain everything? Very well, let's recap. If the witness panties guy was standing to the north, they're not even calling him by his name, they're just like, if the panties dude, <laughs> the creepo was over here, then where was the shooter of standing? From what location did the killer shoot the victim? But wait, if the witness was standing there, how could anyone shoot the victim in the right temple? <laughs> I merely let out the facts for us. It is up to the one possessing the shiny forehead to show us. If you can, that is. Waki Kataki was standing at the killer mark. Wesley Stickler at the witness mark. And of course, Palmaractus was at the victim mark. But we have one more mark! Let's hear what the defense has to say. Where was the killer standing when they shot the victim? Someplace else. <laughs> Let's just give up. At the killer mark, of course! In one fell swoop, we are back to where we were yesterday, ya. Yeah. How do you explain the wound in the victim's right temple? Uh, that is a problem, isn't it? Thank you, Mr. Justice, for pointing out the obvious. That would make Waki the killer, Apollo. Jeez! One more time, if you would. Oh, no penalty. The killer was standing at the witness mark. That would explain the wound in the victim's right temple. So once again, you are accusing Wesley Stickler? As the murderer of Palmeractus. I would be, wouldn't I? Finally, a glimmer of sense. Very well, Air Forehead. Show us proof. Have you evidence that incriminates Wesley Stickler? I guess he really is the most likely suspect. Do I have some evidence that shows Mr. Stickler did it? No. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> 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 Apparently, you lack this promised evidence, and you are obsessed with showing us women's underwear. Ugh, that wasn't it. You'll never succeed if your base assumption is faulty. Perhaps you should rethink this from the top, ya. Yeah. Maybe he's right. In fact, you may want to rethink your choice of career. Hey, that was a bit uncalled for, don't you think? <laughs> your Honor, the defense would like to reconsider. That would be smart. The penalty should keep you on track. <laughs> oh. As the facts stand now, we can't explain this crime without contradicting ourselves at some point. But I know why. The real killer shot from an entirely different location. What are you talking about? I don't see any other place. Did I spit on the screen? One of us did. Oh, apparently, right. Mr. Justice did. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. Where in the park did the killer shoot the victim from? Objection! It's time to raise the roof. And the stakes. Eh? Penalties are such frightening fiends, don't you think? But what if they were a bit more terrifying? He increases the penalty mark by, like, the entire thing. Oh, that's not that bad. Like so. D double penalty? Air Forehead wishes to take us in a new direction. Then he must be ready for the challenges ahead. Challenge accepted. It's just his time. Are you sure, Apollo? The key is the witness, Mr. Stickler's testimony. If we believe that and we know where he stood, and the victim turned when he shouted. There's only one place the killer could have been. The killer shot the victim from here. The river! The river. This is where the killer shot from. Hmm, I hadn't thought of that. None of us did, Your Honor. And this explains the wound in the right temple how. I hadn't thought of that. An amusing diversion, Mr. Justice. Penalty. <laughs> Yes, amusing. Like your career, Mr. Justice. Fine, rub it in. 
Perhaps you would be so kind as to try again. Do you know where it is? Well, you had, I had asked about which side had Eldune and which side had Noodle. Eldune is on this side, Noodle is on that side. And... Yeah, Wesley said it was Noodle. And then, yeah. <laughs> which side did we find the slipper print? Slipper print was, was found side. right there. That doesn't work, though, even when you turn the head. So that means they would be, like, in the tree? This is where the killer shot from! Hmm, I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> is it where I thought it was, then? Where? Back, uh, behind the trailer-ish. Right there? Yeah. Take that! Nope. Just think about it from logical perspective. The victim is facing this way. He was shot in the right temple. Where would they have to be for that? I mean, on the right side. I believe we all owe a debt of gratitude to Miss Alita Tiala. What do you mean? Thanks to you, we had a chance to review the crime. And this time we were prepared. We know that Wesley Stickler was telling the truth. We should have listened to him from the beginning. Wesley Stickler was standing next to the trash can when he saw the two men. He shouted just as he told us in his testimony. And the victim turned to look in his direction. A shot was fired. The victim was hit in the right temple. Oh no. Oh yes. Which direction was his right temple facing at that moment? That's right, toward the noodle stand. Order, order, order! So, so you're saying the killer was inside the noodle stand? Let's think about this a bit more, shall we? You say the killer was inside the noodle stand? Which would mean that the victim, Dr. Maractus, came to the park, wheeling his own murderer in the cart behind him. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. We noodle stands, you can't just steal a building. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd notice if you were pulling someone along. Objection! There's something we should worry about before that. Why was he pulling the noodle stand in the first place? Objection! Let's deal with our problems one at a time, shall we? Someone was hiding in the stand. We have not come this far to talk about possibilities. Let's talk about proof, baby. Show us evidence that proves someone is in the stand. Can I prove that? You want evidence that someone is in that stand? Well, I've got it. Well, too bad. I mean. Well, too bad. Kidding, just kidding. I've got it. Whew, close one. Then let's see it. Show us proof that someone was hiding in the noodle stand. Okay, well. She broke in, and then left, and then was in the noodle stand. <laughs> Randomly. Randomly. What was the proof that someone was hiding in the noodle stand? I don't know why you would ever be in there. I'm still trying to think about that. Gotta get those sweet noodles. There's the broken thing. They left the slippers. Mm -hmm. so that might be a problem. Big toe print found on left sandal. Yeah. Um, I don't know why we still have to underwear. I don't yeah. know why either. Well, that's because she was like, I don't need it. You keep it. You keep like, my yeah. underwear, sweetie. No! That's don't pretty worry. weird. <laughs> of all the things was you could the... give people as a gift, underwear is probably one of the worst. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Especially if you're of the opposite sex. Uh-huh. Was it... It shows proof that someone was hiding in the Yep. I don't know why. I'm trying to think of reasons as to why, but I can't think of the evidence to present with that why. I will submit the evidence! I will submit the evidence! Is it because of the, the knife? <laughs> Thank the knife. No, that's Walkie's knife. Oh, that's Walkie's knife. He had it on him. Yeah. Um, knife and gun, someone baby. Someone was hiding in the noodle stand. Yep. I mean, why? Why would someone be in there? Because the doctor- <laughs> They ran the, out of discount the ramen. And <laughs> they then would have something. to be in cahoots. <laughs> you need a cash now. <laughs> Is there like a bullet 
Mark. Wait, look at the look at the cart. I want to see it. Is there a bullet mark on one of the sides that like shows that it went through? So it would have gone through the front. There's, There's a curtain. I don't see any. Good idea though. There's no. Noodle. My Check son the had the noodle dream. dream. It could be possible that she lifted the thing and went... <laughs> Bro, do you even bench press? <laughs> oh, She's just no. lifting the noodle stand. I think uh, I think we need to look at it a bit more. Wait, but that wouldn't make any sense. Why would just the front part... Wait, you're pulling the noodle stand. Yes, you're pulling, we are. You're pulling the side that has the tarp. So that means somebody had to enter it from that side and hang out in the back while they're pulling the noodle stand. Yep. What the frick? <laughs> this is just not... Yeah, I know, right? This doesn't make any sense. I don't even know. So let me, let me just ask you, if the case ended, like, oh yeah, we never know why they were in the noodle stand. Would that be too stupid? That would be stupid. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be like... I guess that's not really important. Ruh-roh. ruh Mr. Justice, the court is not amused by you constantly presenting underwear to the court. Thoughts, Prosecutor Gavin? We have a choice between heaven or hell. Either our brains are damaged or air foreheads is. I wonder which it is. This court finds Mr. Justice's brain faulty. By majority vote. Ugh. That wasn't that bad of a- Time to pick something else. How about showing us the right evidence this time? Is it because of the map? Like, they needed a ride? Because it's so, it's so far it's to, it's so it's far to new walk, Uber. oh my gosh. Instead of calling an Uber, you call a noodle stand and the guy pulls it for you. There's a cop in. <laughs> the only reason I could think of is if Wesley Stickler was in the noodle stand. Because he's hiding from the crazy girl that he stole panties from. And then, like, that's the easiest route to take without her noticing him. Otherwise, I don't know why you would take the noodle stand. Just, like, walk down the street <laughs> with the gun. I don't know. That's pretty weird, but... You do. You really don't know. I would say present the card. And just something. Nope. Never mind. It's because of the bowl. The bowl was found at El Dune's house. Never mind! This is, like, the fifth time I've told you this. <laughs> I don't know anything. Is it the slippers? The Maractus Clinic. And they're covered with paint. These slippers were found in a trash can near the crime scene. Yeah, well... And... A single slipper print was found at the scene. Right next to the noodle stand. <laughs> oh, and Miss Tiala, your toe print was found in the left slipper. <laughs> in other words... This is proof that you were inside the noodle stand. No! <laughs> Yet there was only one slipper mark found at the scene. Can this be called a footprint in good faith? Objection! Observe the diagram. A park pathway runs next to the slipper's mark. A slipper wouldn't leave a trace on a cobblestone path. Objection! Yet you still cannot say that this is a footprint, ya. Yeah? Why not? You have an impression left by a single slipper. What if it was on the stand and simply fell to the ground? Objection! It's a miraculous that's, one! That's just dumb! <laughs> one more thing. A noodle stand is typically cluttered with the tools of the noodle making trade. There's no room for a person to ride in there. Hmm, you have a point. Could someone have hidden in that stand? Yes! They dumped all of the bowls in the Maractus Clinic! Yep. Apollo, I think I might be onto something. I think I figured out one of our pieces of evidence. In order to make room in the stand, some things would have to be... Well, Mr. Justice, do you have proof that someone could have hidden in the stand? Yes! I can prove one thing. Someone did scheme to clear space in that stand. Okay. No! Uh, I don't see how that evidence relates to the matter at hand. The heck! That wasn't it! Maybe if I submit another piece of evidence while he's thinking. Stop right there. I think someone's scheming to avoid a penalty. We'll have none of that. 
Oops. <laughs> Again, Mr. Justice, if you would, your evidence that isn't a pair of underwear. I can prove one thing. This I is not percent underwear. A thing of underwear. This is a noodle bowl from the stolen Eldoon's noodles noodle stand. Yes, that was very redundant. What about it? We discovered a large quantity of these bowls yesterday. In the lobby of the Maractus Clinic. A large quantity of noodle bowls in the victim's clinic? Mr. Eldoon was very clear about those bowls. Well, I don't care who did it. Without that stand, I'm finished. Oh, my noodle bowls were in there too. <laughs> Yet the bowls were removed. That night, there was space inside that noodle stand. Space created at the Maractus Clinic, no less. Right around the time that you were in there, Miss Tiala. Uh, Miss Elite Tiala. Stop! <laughs> Stop messing up my name! <laughs> I won't listen to any more of these wild fantasies. No, not fantasies. They're worse lies than the spoiled brat's pickup lines! I would like to remind the witness of her current status. This court does not consider you entirely innocent. Show me an innocent. I'll show you a fairy tale. In any case, the defense has somehow made its point. The witness had both a motive and an opportunity to kill Dr. Maractus. More fairy tales. This whole trial's a fairy tale. Look who's talking, Tinkerbell. <laughs> then please <laughs> pull us back to reality, Miss Tiala. I'm giving you one last chance to explain yourself. This is it. Why was Dr. Maractus pulling that stand that night? And what was Alita Tiala doing inside it? Time to get to the bottom of this case. This is fun. I think we'll just finish up this video and I can split just it into two. Just finish it.